Since the outbreak of coronavirus, the internet has been awash with misinformation and myths about the virus. So we asked our Instagram followers and Discord members to send us the top myths they'd seen online. And in this video, we're going to run through some of the most common misconceptions and explain why they're not true. Help this video reach as many people as possible by liking, commenting and subscribing. You can also share this video with friends who you think are confused by the pandemic. Thank you for all of your support. Coronavirus was made in a lab. Not correct. There's absolutely no evidence to suggest that COVID-19 is man-made. In fact, the virus is very similar to both SARS and MERS, two other natural outbreaks from the last 20 years. Also, actually developing and releasing a virus wouldn't be an easy task. So, like so many other conspiracy theories, it presumes that people are much smarter than they are, and much better at keeping secrets. The virus started by someone drinking bat soup. Unlikely. Scientists do believe that the virus came from animals, and bats have been the root cause of other similar coronaviruses, but there's no evidence that it was soup or any other bat product this time round. 5G causes the coronavirus. What? No. 5G technologies have been blamed for a whole variety of things in the past, from causing cancer to reducing fertility. And now, it's apparently caused the coronavirus too. Well, as you might expect, this isn't true. Coronavirus has been around for decades, with more recent outbreaks including SARS and MERS. So beyond the fact that 5G technology cannot damage cells, these kind of diseases have been around way longer than 5G or any other similar mobile tech. Garlic can prevent the coronavirus. Nope. The World Health Organization did agree that garlic is a healthy food and may have some antimicrobial properties, but went on to say that there's no evidence that it would have any real effect on COVID-19. Something one man in China discovered after he ate 1.5 kilograms of raw garlic and ended up in hospital due to inflammation of the throat. Face masks will always protect you from the virus. Untrue. Standard surgical masks aren't designed to protect the wearer from viruses like this because, as John Hopkins University puts it, they don't fit tightly. They allow tiny infected droplets to get into your nose, mouth and eyes. If you think you're infected, then wearing a mask can prevent you from passing it on, but if you do wear one, you'll need to make sure you dispose of it correctly. Hand sanitizers are more effective than soap. That's not right. As long as the percentage alcohol in the sanitizer is high enough, they can still kill the virus. But standard soap is just as effective, if not more so. That's because the different ends of the soap molecules are attracted to fat and water, which means that they're effective in pulling apart the fatty outer layer of the virus. Alcohol can kill the coronavirus. Probably not. As we just said, hand sanitizers need to have a high alcohol content. The CDC recommends above 60%. So your standard 40% vodka isn't going to kill the virus. That being said, some distilleries and breweries are using their facilities to create new hand sanitizers. Hand dryers can kill the coronavirus. Nope. While soap and sanitizers are effective, drying your hands with a hand dryer afterwards isn't going to help you. Antibiotics can kill the coronavirus. False. As the name suggests, antibiotics kill bacteria, and as COVID-19 is a virus, they won't be effective in this case. Owning 500 plus toilet rolls will cure your coronavirus. Nope. Despite how much toilet roll people have been stocking up on, owning vast quantities of it won't prevent COVID-19. In fact, considering diarrhoea isn't a symptom of coronavirus and sneezing isn't even common, it's unclear why people think stocking up is going to help them. If you can hold your breath for 10 seconds, you don't have the coronavirus. False. The claim is that if you can hold your breath without feeling like you need to gasp for air or feel a tightness in your chest, then you don't have pulmonary fibrosis and thus don't have the virus. Now it is possible that COVID-19 could cause pulmonary fibrosis, but regardless, holding your breath for 10 seconds isn't a valuable test of fibrosis or the coronavirus. Pets can contract and spread the coronavirus. Not quite. While one dog in Hong Kong contracted a mild version of the virus, there's no evidence that they can pass it on to humans. 
In fact, veterinary health expert Vanessa Bars commented that previous experience with SARS suggests that cats and dogs will not become sick or transmit the virus to humans. Drinking lots of water will flush out the virus. Absolutely not. While drinking lots of water is always a good idea, drinking vast quantities to flush out the coronavirus won't work, despite many Facebook claims. Oxford professor Trudy Lang commented on this, explaining that there's no biological mechanism which could just wash a respiratory virus down your stomach and kill it. And the World Health Organization also commented on this, advising that drinking water cannot kill the coronavirus. Coronavirus is just the winter flu. Incorrect. While the majority of people who contract COVID-19 will experience symptoms no worse than the seasonal flu, that doesn't mean that the virus isn't serious. That's because when you look at the mortality rate, those who do have severe symptoms are at far greater risk. Current estimates vary, but even if the mortality rate is only 1%, that would make coronavirus 10 times more fatal than the winter flu. Travel bans will stop the spread of the coronavirus. Unlikely. Looking back at other similar viruses, travel bans have been broadly ineffective, and in many cases, the chaos they cause by encouraging people to rush to airports only increases the number of people in crowds and thus spreads the disease further. Travel bans may be great politically, as they look like the government's taking action, but they aren't always as effective as the government wants you to think. You'll know if you have the coronavirus. While COVID-19 can induce severe symptoms for some, for others the symptoms can be very mild or not even noticeable. And even if you do notice symptoms, it won't always be possible to tell if you have coronavirus or a similar more common virus. And the only way to know for sure is to be tested. Coronavirus will go away in the summer when it gets warm. Nope, that's not quite right. Some viruses, like influenza, are seasonal, and as such, the virus loses its ability to infect cells when the weather gets warmer. However, there's no evidence to suggest that COVID-19 will act in that way. In fact, the World Health Organization dismissed this claim, saying that COVID-19 has been spreading all across the world in all different climates. So the evidence is that even as it gets warmer in the Northern Hemisphere, the virus will still be able to survive and infect. Taking a bath and increasing your temperature can cure coronavirus. Not true. Regardless of how hot your bath is, your body temperature always remains between 36.5 and 37 degrees Celsius. So unless your bath water is exceedingly hot, probably not a good idea, it's unlikely to increase your body temperature. And even if it did, there's no evidence that it would make any difference to COVID-19. Spraying yourself with bleach and alcohol can prevent infection. I don't even think I need to explain this one. Unsurprisingly, this rather dangerous plan can be harmful to the body's mucous membranes, like eyes and mouth, and the World Health Organization advises that doing so could cause serious health problems or even death. You need to be, you need to be in close contact with someone for about 10 minutes to contract the virus. Not true. For the standard flu, some say that you need to be within 6 feet of someone for 10 minutes to contract the virus. But this isn't always true, especially for COVID-19. It's possible that you can contract the virus in far less time, and less commonly, you can be infected through surfaces. This doesn't mean that just walking past someone will infect you, but it does mean that you should be cautious in large crowds or around people that you think have the virus. A vaccine will be ready in the next few months. Not likely. We made a video discussing this earlier in the week, and that's linked below. But this claim, often linked back to Donald Trump, isn't likely to be true. While real progress has been made towards finding a vaccine, testing vaccines and rolling out their production is a slow progress. So even with early successes, we're probably not that close to a vaccine for COVID-19 and could be waiting around 18 months. It's all a DNC hoax. Obviously not. Another one that originated with Trump where he claimed that his political opponents were hyping up the disease to damage his economy and re-election prospects. This obviously isn't true, with Trump changing his tune and introducing drastic action just days later. You can catch the coronavirus from Chinese packages. Incorrect. Even if someone in the supply chain did have COVID-19, which is unlikely, the disease doesn't last long enough on surfaces, especially those used in packaging, in order to infect you. 
you can catch coronavirus by eating in a Chinese restaurant. Lots of countries are advising against or shutting down restaurants. But even if we ignore that, Chinese cuisine isn't going to give you the virus. There's absolutely no logic behind the idea that Chinese foods would infect you. After all, why would a certain kind of cooking infect you any more than others? And even if you did think that, Italian food would surely be more dangerous than Chinese, as they've had more cases of the coronavirus. This is a very clear example of racist rhetoric being mixed with coronavirus advice, and it clearly should be stopped. Speaking of restaurants, young people don't need to alter their behaviour as they're not at risk. Nope. While it's true that older people and those with pre-existing conditions are more likely to have severe symptoms, and they do have a higher mortality rate. What's untrue is that young people should continue as normal. Even though young people aren't likely to die from the virus, continuing to act as normal is massively irresponsible. That's because continuing your normal life increases your risk of passing on the disease and spreading it to those within the community, actions which could significantly affect the vulnerable and increase the rate of the virus's spread throughout society as a whole. We've put all of these myths up as individual videos, and they're linked in the playlist below. So, if you see someone falling for one of them, you can send them a link straight to the video that explains the truth. If you want more updates and more news on the coronavirus and politics more generally, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Special thanks to our Patreon backers who make videos like this one possible.